people and welcome back to part 27 of the City of Skylines Bill Guide. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Last episode we worked on our residential sector which is sitting behind us here and I've added another little footbridge that links off the main one that connects the stadiums and the transport hub down into the park alongside the residential section. And look how much use it is getting. It is absolutely ridiculous how busy this footpath is. Lots of people moving around through the parks, um, which is well, really what we want to happen. Um, I've expanded this a little bit off camera, just continued down here and continued the idea of adding in assets uh, to create a bit of a high street theme. And uh, it's coming together quite nicely now, I think. Monorail station is getting loads of use. Uh, this is a new one, so previously this is where the old line ended. And we've added in this new branch. And he connects up to his own station in front of a plaza, library, skate park, uh, basketball court, a couple of schools. Uh, we've left ourselves a little bit of room uh, to carry on that theme as well. Uh, we've also added in a post office down here as well, which is uh, really cool. Uh, Off-camera time-lapse before this was just adding in some cemetery parks um, just to help handle the dead people that appear uh, within the downtown area specifically. Uh, they have good access across. They have um, also built this as well. Uh, this is just a little quick roundabout. Same as we built over here um, in the uh, forestry industry. So this guy has finished emptying as well. Move him over. Uh, let's see, let's pop him. Uh, let's leave him. Yeah, him right there for right now. Actually, he's fine. Um, so yeah, that's what we're working on. Just some nice little paths and trees, and expanding an asset just to help it fit in a little bit better. And from the high, from the main street, actually, it actually looks quite nice. Uh, I wish we could have zonable cemeteries in cities, um, rather than having to use these fixed assets. Uh, but, you know, maybe we'll get that in Cities Skylines too. Uh, that should be uh, quite a fun game. Also expanded the footpath down here. And a little bridge to link up here. And then it carries on over here. And then up to here as well. It will eventually uh, dissipate. Uh, this place has also seen a couple of changes. Um, previously the road ran straight across here and connected up there. And I've just kind of reworked it into a little bit to create something of a traffic flow system here. Uh, it's not quite finished. And then we also have another road coming off this in this direction. And this is the area that we're going to be working on today. Uh, because I think I've decided um, that this road here... Go ahead and delete that bridge for a moment. Um, I want this to be a financial sector, which is going to flow uh, in this direction, kind of along this edge of the map. And the, and the city um, and I also want a university uh, of liberal arts to sit here so we're going to paint out the campus area just a bit of a generic shape for right now and then we will eventually be placing um, we'll probably go ahead and get in the, uh, the start of this actually so with the actual city university itself, that's going to reside um, a little further down the way. I'm thinking kind of in the foot of these mountains over here. Um, with some kind of lower suburban buildings that are going to appear down that way uh, eventually when we come to build down there. Uh, but for right now, the Liberal Arts College is going to sit in here. I've also briefly expanded some squares over here where I'm thinking we're going to put some nightlife stuff under this bypass. I think that'll look really cool. And uh, expanded the railways out a little bit so you can kind of get a sense of how these are going to flow out in various directions now. That one coming down there, this is tunnel uh, links up to this guy here. So you can kind of see the infrastructure just starting to head off in the direction that it's going to eventually link up to. But when we come to actually playing... Uh, in those parts of the map. So he's going to head off all the way down there. And then uh, let's have a little look at what we can do here. To introduce our... The start of the Liberal Arts College. 
Okay, so back into our education tab. Um, the second one along, obviously we've already built a five star tech school. Uh, we now want to do a liberal arts college trade campus. This thing's gonna look really nice, I think, as well. Um, so we're gonna have it on its own little road away from the main road, I think. Uh, it's come out by 10, I think, from this section. Uh, so let's go for, let's go for 15. And then I'll come out by 10 and then down by the same amount as well. And that's going to allow them to fit perfectly on here. So these places are very kind of almost Roman looking. Uh, they look really nice. And uh, some of the, the assets that come along with them as well uh, are also um, really cool. Uh, so let's kind of place in some initial assets before we start in the financial sector here. Um, I think I want the dormitories to be relatively uh, quite far out uh, from, let's see the best place to hook this guy up. So I want the dormitories to not be super close to the, the administration building. I want them to be a little bit further out across the campus. Okay, this guy's a complaint of low land value. That's not my problem right now, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Uh, let's bring in some paths from here. Let's kind of say what my dormitory is uh, to reside up and along here. So let's bring up some paths 10 at a time. And place in a couple of dorms. These guys should have water over here. That's what they will need to be brought up a little further. Let's go ahead and build them in now. As well as I'm doing this, thank you for all the support recently. We are at 250 subscribers now, I think. Uh, which is crazy. Uh, so thank you so much for all that. Okay. So we have a study hall. Um, which I think would work nicely. Uh, straight behind the Liberal Arts College here. Let's get that in. There we go. We also have uh, a drama club. Let's try and squeeze this in as well. Uh, where is it? So the groundskeeping. And then we have the drama club uh, here as well. Lovely stuff. And then let's box him in nicely like that. Okay, so that's going to give us a nice little foundation um, of how we can start expanding this. Uh, I think you know, I want it to be very rigid, very square. Uh, with the city campus stuff, we're going to have a lot more kind of trees and open fields within the campus. Uh, but that'll be really cool when we do eventually uh, manage to build that. But it won't be for a little while yet. We'll, uh, we'll hit level 5 in this one first. And then we can carry on with stuff like that. Okay, so uh, today's episode, let's have a look at what it is that we want to do. Um, I think uh, this space here is going to lead nicely into the financial district, or at least one of the financial districts anyway. Uh, there will be a couple of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and knock this road back a little bit. Uh, this one here, no, not that one. No, I'll just probably delete that in a moment anyway. Okay, and then this one as well, just so we can get this road in line. There we go, uh, let's connect him up. Let's knock this guy out a little. And then he can continue there, and then we'll hook our university back in as well. Okay, so we've got some room to do some detailing uh, right at the front of the university here as well. Okay, let's make sure our network is connected up. Connected up. Alright, so from here to here is 1682. So we're actually a little bit short. So let's go ahead and bring this guy out. So 1680 is there. Still this, guy up. Uh, this roundabout is just linking onto the ring road. Uh, that kind of cycles around here. 
Uh, so we're going to do something with this space as well. We've got a really large area to work with here. Um, I've also terraformed the mountains a little bit. I just make the slopes a little more natural looking. Um, I don't think it looks too bad. Still needs a, little, a touch more uh, working out. Okay. So let's make sure that we have our rail line implemented here. And then we can start looking at some kind of layout and design. So I want this place to almost function as like uh, like a trade center. Uh, let's not use that word. Let's use our avenue with grass. Let's bring him right through like that. So that's going to give us a nice little central point to work with. We've got equal spacing on both sides here as well. So let's, again, continue with the theme that we always do. Let's place a heart and soul um, of the Trade Center. And I think I'm going to have that as actually um, a couple of metro stations that are going to uh, converge on different lines. So let's try and get those in. So this looks good. Two right in the point there. And uh, then perhaps a couple of plazas either side of them, I think. So maybe a plaza with trees on both sides. Okay. And these guys are moaning, but um, they will be okay eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and paint out the districts here. Because uh, we will need to apply a couple of specializations uh, to this to this area. Uh, to make it what we want. Just follow the road as best we can. And then paint all this in. We have suggestions in the comments below. Uh, for the name of this district. If you would like to name it. Feel free. Okay. So have a look at some policies. Um, we need to add a couple of things in here. Okay, I'm actually not going to put any policies on just yet. What I am going to do is come to uh, districts and then come across to office specializations and then hit IT cluster. Uh, so IT cluster comes with the Green Cities DLC and um, we've used them before but you'll, you'll see what they do in a moment. It uh, really changes the way that your office zoning uh, will actually look um, quite, quite a bit as well. Okay, so definitely want these guys boxed in. Let's um, help if I could bring them around. Okay. So this guy isn't quite snug. I think because he's snapping to the road guidelines. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so as a general kind of heart, I think that's going to work just nicely. Um, let's have a connection up from either side of the middle. Is that as straight as I can get it? Yeah, I think it was. Okay, that's going to give us um, a nice symmetrical feel. So I think I'm going to have building come out here. And then one like that. And there's a nice big corner there. Let's start getting some zoning in so we can see what we're looking at. So with here, I think I'm having um, a big uh, corner building. And then we can do some micro detailing, um, almost like a little, like a, a, a plaza in a lobby uh, for that building. Let's have one big one there on the corner. Now let's fast forward time and get some buildings in and we should be good to go. It's coming here as well. And that's only a small one. I need this to develop and it should uh, sink power through. There you go, so you can get a big one here. Okay, let's have a long one on the corner here. And I want the kind of 
uh, the atmosphere around the railway to be quite stacked up. So it looks as though the railway is cutting through the buildings. Uh, it'd be really cool to get some zone in here so you guys can sink power through. There we go. Let's have a look what we're getting here. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit of commercial. Um, possibly here. In these little small blocks. Uh, now let's have one big row right here. And then a couple of little smaller ones kind of dotted, dotted around. Let's just see how they develop. So again, kind of taking what we learned from last episode uh, with the residential section. Excuse me, just uh, taking a drink. Uh, we're taking our time with the zoning and the detailing here. Uh, let's hook up the metro stations. Um, let's get that done. So I kind of want two points to converge here. Um, so we'll definitely hook this guy up with the metro station. Okay. And then we'll pun his journey off uh, in that direction. Actually, no, we won't. We'll delete him out. And then he's going to come out for a little bit. And then curve off in another direction. And then we'll make like a little bit of a circle line um, to handle one part of the city. Uh, and then this guy is going to go in a couple of different directions. You can hook up there. And then he can travel off. Uh, in a direction there and obviously we'll add more stations at some point but for right now he is okay um okay let's hook this guy up temporarily um let's create a new line here and there just a very small line for right now obviously uh, when there are more stations down the line we will be able to uh, make sure that he looks a little bit more important uh, okay, adding some paths around here now and trying to link people into this place. Uh, see, see what we can do. Um, let's have a path right here. We'll come in tight to the building. Nice little angle there as well. Okay, this is what I was kind of going for. Uh, let's have a look at some unique buildings. The impression office might fit in nicely here. Although I feel like I really want to put the impression office here. I feel like this is where it belongs right along the street front here. Don't know, let me know what you guys think of that. We can maybe make a little bit of um kind of a downtown version of this. Like a little bit of like a, a couple of parks around it, maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you guys are feeling. Yeah, let's move him over. And then this guy can empty out as well. Okay. Is this all one building? No, it's two separate ones. Okay, let's carry on expanding the road network a little. And we'll probably bring this guy up to the railway. And then we'll make this a little bit of a one flow system. Just like that. 
So it's that way we're not getting too many traffic light junctions so close to each other. Uh, that'll just help a little bit. Uh, okay, how are we looking kind of in the centre of town here? Got a couple of little stores that are generating. I don't mind that, I think that's okay. Hmm. Now if we want to continue off in this fashion, this tram line is going to get in the way. So I'm thinking, let's delete this road here. And that one as well. Delete the tram track all the way down to where it drops. And then I'm going to bring this guy in. Uh, let's kind of bring it up to there just for right now so I know where I'm snapping to. Okay. So we know that that's parallel with that now. Okay, let's delete this. That's only really temporary for right now anyway. Okay, so that's just going to give us a little bit more room uh, to manoeuvre around. The high school is going to have to move as well. And where can we put him? Stick him over there for right now. Okay. So let's plan something around this tram line maybe. So let's bring him down here and then down there. And we've got some like perfect zoning squares here to do something quite nicely. Um, do have the transport tower. This thing still needs to go in. But where do we want to put it? Let's get it in. And see how it looks. Okay, I think we can build around this. Uh, let's bring our new zone uh, out into this new area that we've just expanded to. Okay. And then let's carry on with that kind of small zone. And I think I want a couple of uh, big corner buildings here to actually join the transport tower. And then we'll go ahead here and grab our paths. And then just kind of slowly bring couple of lines together up to there I feel like it's still missing something but I can't quite put my finger on what let's have a look through our unique buildings again yeah I don't want them all here opera house no High interest tower. I suppose this could be of high interest. Um, okay, this thing is massive. Um, like really, really big. So it won't fit in there because of the tram line. Could get it in here, but again, it's not really uh, ideal for what I want. Okay, I think we'll get rid of this roundabout. Uh, and just have the roads connect up uh, via a junction. So we can continue that way. And then the six lane road can come in here as well. I also need to think about what's going to happen with this bridge. Something needs to come into play with him for right now. Okay. So I think definitely the high interest tower uh, deserves a road of its own. Let's go ahead and have a look at placing this in. I 
Okay. I like it the way it's kind of sat in front uh, of this rail line here. Uh, people using the metros. Yeah, 57. Slowly using them. A few people going in there. And all the roads around this place are coping okay. Yes, they are. Okay. So I think we can leave that there. I don't think that looks horrendously bad. Uh, let's maybe chuck in a couple of plazas. Uh, let's have a couple here. There's some nice space in there for them. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, some more path. Doesn't really connect up right there, does it? Let's try that again. There we go. That's a little bit better, I think. Uh, and then this way as well. Let's keep drawing in those paths. Okay. I'm liking this area right now. We've got some um, some nice big open plaza spaces and some buildings surrounding it all. It's looking pretty sweet. We've also got our big transport tower down here as well. Uh, let's go for some hide and stick commercial along this front right here. And then how about some low density right up to here. Let's go ahead and uh, bring this path down to this side. I want this theme of walkability uh, throughout uh, the city. Let's bring these walking paths in over as well. And, uh, let's bring them down like that. And we'll do the same over here as well. It's just going to allow people to walk across uh, the highway a little bit easier and also join on this path as well. Uh, these things are really cool uh, when they are eventually in because you get a lot of people uh, kind of switch and switching paths and it's crazy how many people are using these pedestrian walkways. Uh, it's keeping the streets below a lot less busy. You can imagine if we didn't have these pathways in, everyone would be using these zebra crossings here uh, to get across the road, which would dramatically slow down the traffic. So it's a nice idea to have an elevated walkway that runs throughout the city. Okay. Maybe there's some educational buildings we can add in here to kind of flesh it out. A modern technology institute. So this is a substitution for the university, isn't it? Yeah, just the basic vanilla university right here. That's what this is used for. Oh, some more unique buildings. Uh, fantastic fountain. This would be a this would be a nice little spot, wouldn't it? Maybe here. Yeah, I think that could work. Uh, let's box out this area with more commercial. Uh, this guy's winch as well. Is he a one way? Yes, he is. Let's upgrade him. And then we'll bring that into there. So let's have that road as a dead end. I'm going to start filling in some of these spaces right here. Just kind of see what we can develop. There's a, little, a fair bit of space that we've got uh, to work with in here. Maybe we can just have a little bit of um, a little ended zone like that. Again, see if we're missing out on any neat buildings. This is the luxury hotel. That'll go in the kind of nightlife section, I think. Do have the observation tower. But whether or not this belongs in our kind of financial district, uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know. 
Okay, so let's have a little look around right now. Like in this high density commercial between the tram lines. That's giving it um, a nice little feel. Lots of camera jumping in this area because I'm uh, using uh, the, the buildings and knocking the camera around rather. Let's have a little bit more commercial in there. Uh, and then maybe just some very small office space uh, right here. Okay. Put a pathway right here as well. Don't forget guys, uh, get your suggestions in the comments for this area. And do you think we've done a good job or do you think that it looks a little bit rancid? Let me know uh, what you're feeling. I think kind of as a general structure and idea. I'm not looking too bad right now. I don't know if it's a little bit, if it's not dense enough over here maybe. I feel like we've got too many uh, smaller buildings. Okay, yeah, let's try and rework this area just a tiny, tiny bit. Let's bring the road connection up here and then one straight down. And then I'll have a big four here and a big four there. Maybe that'll make it look a little bit more trade centery. So lots of open plazas and they're tall skyscrapers there for our financial district. And we'll probably be using a similar sort of building um, Oh, this is really cool. So we've had two assets generating here, but uh, they both kind of look the same. So it's like part of the same building. They look similar at the back and the front. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, so I think that's more what I'm after, rather than just kind of having lots of buildings uh, in the vicinity. Let's draw in some more paths around here for them. Okay, and then probably one here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a time lapse guys and uh, detail this place up a little bit with some really minimalistic trees and kind of rock detailing. It won't be anything too major I don't think, I want to keep this place looking quite simplistic and modern. Uh, but we'll, we'll pop back in for the outro lapse and, uh, and take a look at how this place turned out. So I'll speak to you in a moment. Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like below is very much appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Nice little start to this area, I think. Uh, still a bit more to do on it, but uh, it is on its way to looking relatively nice. I hope you guys will get some inspiration of how to use the office zoning uh, rather than just spamming it, trying to use it sporadically. And uh, surround it with some paths as well, just to help us create that nice trade centre feel, which I think we've achieved here. Uh, or on its way to being that anyway. Uh, we'll do some detail zooms at street level as well, so make sure to hang around for the rest of the outro, Taj. 
and let me guys know what you think of it and uh, what else you think we could maybe add in here uh, or change to what we've already done. Anyway, I'll leave you alone. Thank you very much for watching and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.